Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your product URL and the product name in the URL handle on your Shopify store and exactly step by step how to do that. Not only just for single products, if you want to change one URL at a time for any given product, or even if you want to change the Shopify product URL for multiple URLs at the same time, I'll be showing you how to edit it in bulk as well on your Shopify store in a step-by-step -step fashion. Now, of course, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brennavaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. Without ado, let's go ahead and dive into things. Now, first things first, it's important to understand when changing a Shopify product URL, you do want to take into a mind keep in mind as well that you will be wanting to edit this for the best SEO value that you can have. Now, SEO stands for search engine optimization. Essentially, what we're going to be doing here in this video is editing this product name here uh, and editing it for any given product. You want to make sure that you use the right descriptive words as well to best describe your product, especially if you maybe created some products a while ago and maybe you want to go back in and optimize your overall search engine optimization. The SEO value does also take into account from, from Google your actual URL handle, right? The actual words and phrases that you use in your URL handle are also very important. So as you can see here, this is the default Shopify URL handle. You have your store forward slash products forward slash your product name. So to actually get to editing it, let's go ahead and dive into that now. So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you are of course logged in to your Shopify store. Next, to edit a single product and to change the product URL, we're just gonna click on products on the left-hand side here, and then it will bring up your list of products. Now, of course, you need to have at least added a product here for this to show up and populate. Otherwise, you can go ahead and add a, add a product from scratch here uh, up in the top right corner. Now, we're gonna be editing the short sleeve T-shirt shirt to start just for editing a single product. Then I'm going to be showing you how to do it in bulk as well in just a moment. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and click on the product. And now by default, when you go to create a Shopify product, it will automatically take the title here. So if you have short sleeve t-shirt, it will automatically take that title and it will put that in the URL handle. I'll be showing you that in just a second, but it will automatically put short sleeve t-shirt as the URL handle because that's what you gave it for the title of the product. Shopify automatically does that. But if you do want to change it, or maybe you change the title, or maybe you, you know, made up your mind differently, maybe you want to tr try to help, it, you know, improve your overall SEO of your site, then what you need to do is scroll all the way down here to the bottom. Uh, and then you're going to see this as search engine listing. We're going to go ahead and click the little pencil icon here under edit. And then you will see the page title and the meta description as well as the URL handle. This is the important part here. Of course, this this is the URL handle that you've came to this video searching to try to change. So all you have to do is then under URL handle, you can go ahead and edit this text here. Uh, so instead of short sleeve t-shirt, maybe we also want to say uh, something else, but let's just go ahead and uh, add like short sleeve t-shirt uh, women's. Maybe, maybe we're going to make this women's short sleeve t-shirt because I don't know, that's not necessarily the best. SEO value, but this is just for the sake of the tutorial here. Um, we're going to go ahead and type in women. So now instead of just short sleeve t-shirt, it's a women's uh, short sleeve t-shirt or something like that, right? Whatever you want to change to is up to you. Um, then it will automatically populate here, create a URL redirect for short sleeve t-shirt to women's short sleeve uh, t-shirt. Now I would definitely keep the URL redirects because that will help, you know, avoid any kind of broken 404 pages or any kind of other broken pages on your site. So I would keep the URL redirect. If you don't want to do that, you can of course uncheck this box here and it will not create the URL redirect. Um, you probably do want that just for the technical aspect of your website. And then we're going to go ahead and click save here. And then that will then change the URL handle and it will automatically create the redirect for you. So you don't have to worry about that as well. And if we go ahead and refresh this page here, it will automatically redirect us. I know you can't really see the URL handle, but it is changed to women's short sleeve t-shirt now. Uh, and you can actually have a different URL handle for your product than even just the title of the product too, in case you wanted to kind of I don't know, maybe keep the titles cleaner than the URLs, or maybe you already have multiple products uh, under a similar naming. So depending on your naming structure, you can go ahead and 
change that that way as well. Um, so we're gonna go back here to the product. As you can see, we have changed the, save the changes. Uh, and that is edited here, women's short sleeve t-shirt. Now that is for editing a single product at a time. If you do want to edit, let's just say multiple at once, if you wanna do this in bulk, maybe you're an SEO strategist or something working on someone like a client site or something, and they have a lot of products that you wanna help improve. This is how you go ahead and do it. You go to products uh, and then what you're going to do is go ahead and use the bulk selector here. So you can either select all 19 products by doing that. Um, that's one way to go about doing it if you just wanna edit all the products at once or if you wanna just select a certain, select couple of products, you can also just click here and be like, okay, um, you know, you can also search here too. Uh, import, export if you wanna, you know, get fancy with additional products. But uh, if you're just editing the products that are already existing on the store, you can go through here, click check, 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 check. Um, let's go ahead and just edit all the, like the Rolex watches, I guess. Let's go ahead and edit these two uh, as well. And then once you've selected the products that you want to edit the URLs for in bulk, um, or if you want to just select all of them, you know, click the check boxes however you would like. Then you're going to come over here and click on bulk edit. Once you click on bulk edit, and then it will come up with this column uh, editor, this bulk editor. Now, by default, you may or may not see this URL handle in parentheses SEO section. So what you have to do, if you don't see this, which you probably won't, you're gonna click on columns uh, and then you're going to search for URL. Um, and then just make sure that this is checked here. So URL handle, in parentheses SEO, make sure that's checked. If it's unchecked, it's not gonna show the column and you're gonna be like, whoa, where is it? Just make sure you click on columns here, search URL and make sure you check that URL handle. Uh, and now you're able to go in here and actually edit the URL handle uh, in bulk for all these different products. Now, in this case, we have Rolex. This is almost like a um, sort of like uh, a mistake here because it's like, why are, why are all these Rolex dash, Rolex dash? Uh, and this one is a Rolex Submariner and it's just Rolex. So maybe let's go ahead and add Submariner and sort of fix that like SEO issue here um, and actually give it the right URL handle. We're gonna go ahead and click save here. And now we have saved that product. So it will be listed under the Rolex dash Submariner. Um, so you go ahead and click save there and you can easily, you know, this is a much faster way to go in and edit multiple different URLs at once. Uh, if you have a lot of URLs that you need to fix, and it's a nice easy table to work with um, and sort of like a spreadsheet style that you can work with. You can go ahead and edit multiple of these all at once, click save. Um, okay, we're actually not gonna save that random dash. That's not very good. <laughs> um, and then it will automatically save those and then you can go to the products and it will then be updated here uh, again from this bulk sheet. So this is another good way to edit it in bulk. If you have a lot of products, especially if you're working with large catalogs, it can make a lot of sense to, to use the bulk editor as well to edit the, you know, the, the URLs for your products and help improve the uh, overall SEO of your site. Again, you know, just Google, you know, takes natural names and URLs are better. Uh, you know, they do read all the words in the URL uh, and it can help determine what the page is about. So it's important to add your keywords and things um, to your actual product URLs as well. Uh, and that's how you do it for a single product as well as if you wanna do it in bulk for all the products in your Shopify store. Can easily do that with the bulk editor to edit the you know product URLs in your Shopify store. So guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brandvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. I'll take you right over this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, guys, if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.